what's up guys, Stefan here. Today we are looking at a few different ways to help convey or invoke a feeling of sadness in your playing or in your beats. Whether you're trying to write an emotional ballad like Adele, or you are more of a heartbreaks and 808s kind of guy or girl, Post Malone, Juice World, you know the deal. We're going to focus on one chord progression and explore a few different methods to get the tears flowing. Be sure to stick around to the end to find out how you can win the Maverick piano from Native Instruments. So here's the chord progression in its simplest form and we're going to hold each chord for 8 beats. So that's an emotional chord right there that you can be using. But let's make it even more emotional. The first method I like to use is suspended chords, or sus chords for short. Suspended chords most definitely in this context do exactly what they say on the tin. We can use them to draw out emotion, to create this pull and this tension that needs to be resolved. To do this we use a sus4 chord before the major chord we're resolving on. So for example, we want to resolve on C, so we're going to use a C sus4 just before it. And this can really have a pulling of the heartstrings effect. And this can be used in a lot of places and you've heard it a thousand times. Here's a couple more examples with different chord progressions. You get the idea, so back to our chord progression. Now if we hold the sus4 and the C major for just two beats each, this leaves us with a four beats gap at the end of the chord progression where we can throw in a minor 2-5-1. I have a video on minor 2-5-1s so you can check that out if you haven't already. There's so much we can do in regards to melody, what I want to show you is one small thing that you can add to your melodies that's extremely easy to do and I love doing. So here's my basic melody. All we have to do to make this sound a little better is play regrets. What do I mean? Well with regrets on top of the melody we play the major or minor third. So we have something like this. We're going to do the same thing, however we want to play the third, the major or minor third, one octave down. So instead of our notes being a major or minor third apart, they're now a sixth apart. If you're in the key of C, or its relative minor A minor, in which I am, it's so easy to do as you can leave your hand in one fixed position the whole time. Just like when you're playing Rugrats. So here's how our melody sounds using this technique. It's up to you what you play in your left hand, I mean you could play the root note, you could play chords. I'm going to play the root note and fifth of each note, but arpeggiate between them like this. So let's try this method with another melody and another chord progression. Mm -hmm. 
so you get the point and that's a cool little thing an easy thing you can do with melodies So I hope you found this video useful and you'll try some of these methods in your next piece of music. For your chance to win the Maverick piano however, the same piano I used in this video, all you have to do is name one song built around the chord progression in this video. 6, 2, 5, 1. There's a ton of them. Put your answer down in the comment section below. The winner will be chosen at random and will be announced in two weeks time. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.